Jacksonville Beach is another area that suffered minimal damage. And thanks to its line of defense, the dunes on your side's Brianna Ray Turner is joining us live at Jacksonville Beach. So Brianna, how close was water to breaching the dunes there? Well, Anthony, not even close. Take a look for yourself. Look how tall these dunes are. And just to give you an idea, I'm 5'5", five, five, maybe 5'6", five, but these are 8 to 10 feet, according to beach marine expert Kevin Brown. I mean, look how tall these dunes are. Brown says the high tide washed away what they call the fore dune, the part of the dune that is able to take on the storm surge and keep it from reaching commercial and residential properties. After doing a survey this morning, he says the dunes lost on average between five and 10 feet. That's about 25% of the entire dune structure. That erosion also left many dunes with steep cliffs. As you see, they may look appealing, but I promise you they aren't safe to stand on because they are unstable. I talked to a longtime beach resident, Daniel Evans. He describes how Ian impacted the beach and the dunes. This wasn't like this before. <laughs> And so they just built it up and it came up pretty much. You had to get a picture of that, but it's, it, it pretty much chopped the beach up. We had a big sandbar that used to run out, you know, kind of run out and dropped off. But now we have no drop off at all. So it ate a it ate like four feet of the beach, three feet of the beach. Coming up at six, how long experts say it will take for these dunes to recover. I'm live here at Jacksonville Beach. Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side.